Hi Taurus, welcome to Prefer Her Tarot. I love to see that you prefer me. First, I would like to thank you guys for clicking on this video. Of course, if you haven't already, go ahead and click that subscribe button for me. And if you guys want to be notified when I upload new videos, go ahead and click that notification bell. So we're about to get into the sign of Taurus. Remember that the readings are in general. All of the messages will not re resonate with everyone. Also remember to not get caught up on the gender of the cards because we all have masculine and feminine energy, okay? So, Taurus, as I'm shuffling here, First card that comes out is the Fool. Putting it back in the deck though, okay? So you're ready to take a leap of faith going towards your destiny here. We're ready to start something new, okay? So let's see, what's the overall energy for the sign of Taurus? The Lovers card. But um, it was another card that fell out and I do see it. I put it back in the deck, it wasn't flipped over. I do see it, but we're gonna just get a clarifier on this later and see what comes out. You, um, Some of you guys are trying to have the strength to keep this relationship together, something that someone that you love, yeah, a union that you think is supposed to be is, is meant to be or whatever, right? Could be done with a Gemini. Could be ready to make a decision. I need to make a better decisions. Okay, let's get some more messages. What's the challenge for Taurus? Any challenges for Taurus, please and thank you. The two of two of Taurus making decisions. Since the first card out, being overall energy, the lovers card, ready to make decisions, needed to make better decisions or whatever. Um, could be about unions, like I said, lovers, situations, and then we have the two of swords coming out as the challenge. So you need to, not what you need to do, Spirit Social Universe wants you to make better decisions, come out of indecisiveness, um, take off the blindfold, and see things clearly, okay? Bottom of the deck is the King of Pentacles, your energy, grounding yourself, becoming financially stable, going after what you want because I do see the King of Wands behind that, being determined, having that willpower, willpower. <laughs> um, uh, becoming wealthy and successful within your own right. Okay, let's move forward. What, um, the matters of the heart for Taurus, what's in the matters of the heart for Taurus? Okay, we have the Ace of Wands coming out in reverse, weird. Okay, so as the, the first thing that I felt was that you have a, an idea, there's a spark of, of passion. Nope. Thank you. Thank you, Taurus. Because when I thought about it, let me tell you, that, look, I said the first thing I heard was, when I heard it, this said, like, it got tightened as if my sinuses are bothering me. Could be. But as soon as I thought about this other situation, it was like it loosened up. So this is what it is, Taurus. You, someone's thinking about sex. Someone is. Thinking, let's talk about sex, baby. So look, someone is thinking about this chemistry that you had between you and this other person or whatever. You're not. You're not having. You're not having this right now. It's not going on in this moment. Someone's thinking about the memories, the way it used to be. Because there's a break. Okay? So someone is missing this relationship, this chemistry, this whatever this was. It could have been a situation ship. I don't know. But someone is thinking about the bond, the, the, the um, like I said, the sex. Someone is thinking about that. Okay? Anyways. Any blockages when it comes to true love and success for Taurus. We have the King of Pentacles. I don't know if it's another Taurus or Capricorn that you're dealing with. That could be a blockage. Seven of Wands, protecting yourself, creating the boundaries, could be feeling blocked. I seen the Ten of Swords behind that. That's feeling backstabbed, betrayed, needs to close out a painful cycle. This has something to do with work. Work having to do with being, having to be a blockage, maybe a blockage, getting to love and success. So, it's either. It's either Taurus, you have to ground yourself, become more um, wealthy, try to become more financially stable, loyal and committed type of energy, right? But then at the same time, I'm feeling like this energy of being materialistic or trying to chase the money or whatever this is, is blocking you 
and it's causing you some type of backstabbing and betrayal and spirits so the universe is about to come in with this tower mama situation for you to see clearly to you for you to to to, to see the light in the situation bring you back to bring you into a peaceful situation after a crazy situation usually that's how it happens i mean you don't know we don't know the good energy if we don't really feel the energy of bad okay you see what i'm saying it's a it's a balance we have to see we have to go through the darkness to see the light that type of energy but we're going to get more on that let's move forward what's the next question what need what does what's the question what needs taurus's attention the most right now the two of cups so make connection four of wands a relationship maybe a union marriage coming together something to celebrate communication i'm seeing with the four of wands, with the eight of wands knight of cups messages of love back and forth i need more messages though so your focus is some type of soulmate connection okay a bond but let's move forward how was towards being seen tower shifting changing okay the eight of pentacles at the bottom of the deck a sudden shift so something is you're changing all, all of a sudden all of a sudden this is this is how people are seeing you or seeing you go through this tumultuous 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 i hope i'm saying it right time because that's the word that i'm freaking hearing in my head uh yeah it's disastrous. It's becoming renewed. Something that you were working on? A shift in work. Oh, some of you got... I'm not... Don't mean to say it like that. But some of you guys may have... Okay, it's either... You feel like the lack of... Maybe some of you guys have recently lost a job or something like that and you feel like this wealth and having financial stability is that's the blockage to your love and success but uh what else am i getting out of day with something else that i was receiving oh there it is spirit social universe once there it is you remember i was saying something about okay now now we're going back to that you remember i was saying something about someone has an idea but I'm going to just say you may not have been working on it. You may you may not have been putting this attention and um, focus into it the way you need to be. And that's what Spiritual Universe wants you to do. And I feel like that's why it may be a shift when it comes down to your, your finances or something. What you're working on, who you work with, where you work. Spirit wants you to work on something else. Anyways, let's move forward. What's the advice for Taurus? Remember, the messages are not for everyone. We have the full card. That was the first card that fell out. You remember when I put it back? The advice. That's the advice for you to take a leap of faith. Yes, there are some changes. Yes, it needed to happen. But it's all for you to take this leap of faith towards something new that you want that you want to do. There may be some competition involved. Yes, it is. But take things slow. For sure, it'll happen. Mm-hmm. So, what's the most likely outcome if Taurus takes the advice? You're going to be seeing your ships come in, or you'll be visualizing, right? Yeah, and as long as, as you visualize and continue to have that determination and motivation behind it, what? And inspiration, you go for it, you can make it happen. And that's that fire energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. We have some changes for transformation. Someone's going towards that new beginning. Empress energy. Yes, gifted. Ace of Pentacles behind that. Let's move forward to get some clarifiers here. Uh, why is the lovers car here? Clarify the lovers for Taurus. Clarify the lovers for Taurus. We have the Knight of Pentacles. Making this choice. Knowing that it may, may take some time. With this new opportunity. A chance. Yeah, you're taking a risk on this new opportunity. This, like, like I said, the chance. I'm repeating myself, but whatever. It's gonna make you happy. It's bringing in some peace. 
and, and structure and stability. That's what that Four of Wands is about. Clarify this Two of Swords. All right, we have the Six of Pentacles and equal give and take. <sighs> so we have the high here at the bottom of the deck. So Taurus, look. Basically, your challenge is... Give me a second. Your challenge is you not see... You, Source wants you to take off those blindfolds and realize that I got you. Like I can, I can help you out. I can push you through. As long as you put in the work, I can give you exactly what you desire. I can give you that help. The help is there. Let me give you exactly what you want. But we gotta. But you have to put in some type of work. You have to put in the work. Wow, I like that. Yeah, because you may be a little defensive because of the way things have went in the past. You thought it was going to be wish fulfillment or something and it became like argumentative. It was a conflict in the midst. Caused some illusions. Let's move forward. Why is the Ace of Wands here? Clarify the Ace of Wands in reverse for the sign of Taurus. The Page of Swords. The Page of Swords. So, this is Libra, Gemini, Aquarius energy. Immature communication. Oh, you Taurus, you know what I think about this page of swords? Sometimes, not all the time when I, when I see it. I'll talk. I'll talk. I'll talk, not doom. Or, in this case, you may not be speaking about it at all. You're trying to put the idea in the back of your head, even though it comes up every now and then or whatever. Like, I want you to do this. Let's do this. Let's make something happen. Let's work on this. But you're just looking at it like, mm, I'm not sure. I need to learn more. I need to know more before I before I, I actually make this decision. Just watching. Just looking at things about. You probably just, yeah. Whatever it is. Whatever this is. You have this idea. Don't really want to pursue it. But every time you're sitting there looking on social media, scrolling down YouTube, whatever you're doing, reading books, it's about this certain situation. It comes up. It comes up synchronicity it's like and then you just look at it and you may turn your head like now nah, I don't really know too much about that right now well I just don't really know too much about it. I shouldn't do it okay keep it up that's why that tell card comes in uh, yeah the world card closing out cycles it's time to be clear baby the ace of swords come out of, out of conflict and the battle in your own mind go towards your destiny why is the King of Pentacles here for the sign of Taurus? Can I have the King of Pentacles for the sign of Taurus? All right, the Queen of Wands. Okay, okay. Let's get this. Manifesting. Having that passion. Having that energy and flair to make this happen. Three of Cups. So coming together. A celebration. A men thing. Give me a second. This is the blockages. Correct. Okay, yeah, same thing. You taking this different approach on this situation that you want to, to to become successful in, okay? You come together with people who have, who, like-minded, like-minded individuals who have, who have the motivation, who have the inspiration within it, within them to manifest their, their goals, to manifest their, their visions here. Yeah. For you to go after what you want and control your emotions. Clarify the Two of Cups. This is what needs your attention. Walking away from people, place, things that do not serve you. Going to the people, like I said, who are actually like-minded. Who you actually see eye to eye with who actually help you go forward to the things that you want to do instead of trying to pull you back and telling you, nah, maybe you can't do that. Maybe that's not for you or something like that. Or being around that energy, whatever. King of Wands, going after what you want, having that willpower and determination. It's like fighting for it. You may have to fight. It is what it is. There may be some competition. Okay, so. But it's time to get ready. So, 
why is the tower card here clarify the tower knight of wands yeah risky behavior impulsive behavior doing what you want to do not being stable that's why this king of wands is here as being a challenge okay it's time to get grounded okay manifest the things that you want in order to um to be material <sighs> yes wealthy okay just to be wealthy <laughs> materially abundant that's what i was looking for but anyways we have the six of cups here at the bottom of the deck yeah 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 okay so tours may have been going back and forth back and forth from the past probably dealing with a person from the past and then trying to move on to do things that you're supposed to be doing or you feeling like your uh, soul is calling you to do but then at the same time going back to this individual or doing whatever it is that you used to do in the past that's keeping you away from progressing from moving forward from taking that next step because it's like, it's like you some way somehow you slide right back but this is a mental thing okay Anyways, this in and out energy, indecisiveness, impulsive behavior, risky behavior is about to be towered out. That's what I feel. Or the, a tower moment is about to happen, about to happen for you to go after what you really want to do. Those callings from the past, those um, emotional, those dreams that fulfilled you emotionally, okay, that you were not moving on, acting on. The older you got, the more afraid you were, right? But yes, it's time to go towards your independence. See through, through the illusions and conflict within yourself. Clarify the full card. Clarify the full card. We have, uh, I'll just take it because it's sticking out. Empress card. Your energy. Libra energy. Take, taking a leap of, leap of faith to go towards something brand new. Fertile. Some of you guys are finding out you're pregnant. That's not for everyone. Well, some of you guys like are, are, are practicing. Trying to get pregnant. But this is creating something new. Like I said, abundance. This is beautiful. Divine feminine energy. The sun card at the bottom of the deck. Happiness, peace, clarity. We have the four of wands at union messages coming through or just moving forward towards new beginnings clarify the three of wands so the advice to some is taking a leap of faith towards your divine feminine towards the one you really want to be with towards the one who you want to create with okay for others it's time for you to go towards your divine feminine energy towards you being receptive towards you being open and willing to love towards you being creative towards you um being fertile, all of that good stuff, okay? <sighs> Clarifying the three of wands, we have the six of wands. Victory after a battle. Being being seen, noticed, and recognized. Not giving up on your dreams and hopes. This aspiration here. So you taking this wand. You take this wand, you're going to do something with it now. We have the queen of pentacles behind that. Materially abundant, right? Having... Knowing how to invest, helping others around you, nurturing, a great parent, good with your finances, and the pentacles behind that, working, 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 staying focused because it's going to be some things that you do not see that's working, behind, that's, um, that's being worked on behind the scenes, right? That's source, by God. That's working on your behalf also. And, and out of nowhere, you're going to be seeing some things that happens. And it's going to be almost as if it was a miracle. But because of the work that you've been putting in, because of the change, because of you going after your dreams, this is the reason why it comes to you. So I've been talking for a long time. Maybe we get a clarify here on this Empress card. And hopefully we can get to an oracle and get out of here. Why is the Empress card here? Beautiful. The minor arcana of the Empress. The nine of pentacles. Your independence. So, you taking care of yourself, self relying, all of that good stuff, correct? With the nine of pentacles. The nine of pentacles is the one who actually has to open up to receive that ace of pentacles. 
to get to that ten of pentacles energy family wealth legacy empire energy all of that right the empress is the one who's well taken care of right so you have to get to this energy so you get to that empress energy well taken care of that spirit source universe your man you taking care of your woman whoever however it is hope you guys get the message but it's all about taking this leap of faith to pursue the dreams to manifest the things that you want to be to be single in that moment and becoming one with source because that's the reason why people we those are single anyway it's no need to force the situation or none of that because spiritual universe verse universe makes things happen for a reason okay we have to start going with the flow living i understand that some people feel like oh my uh body clock or whatever is ticking but god knows what's the saying he may not want come come when we want him but he always on time so look i'm gonna leave it right here let's go towards an oracle message and get out of here do i do this one do i do this one we'll do this one what message do you have for the sign of taurus that was a good one that was a good one what message do you have for the sign of taurus please and thank you For this spread, please. What message do you have for the sign of Taurus? All right, here we go. So, we have no place like home and clean it up. When these two cards come out, I see like, well, maybe it's time to take out maybe it's time to <laughs> take out the trash whatever clear up the um your space okay do some dusting and all that good stuff whatever you need to do oh smudging but these two cards are the ones that came out bottom of the deck of loyal hearts being true to yourself and all oh, that brings in this loyal energy yes Taurus, I may not even have to read these. I may read one, and I'm being constant as no place like home, which is about your authenticity. But I'm really just feeling like Spirit Source Universe wants you to clear out that old energy. Be true to you. Be who you are. Go after what you want. Be loyal to yourself, and then someone who's going to be someone's going to come in and be loyal to you also. I like it. Let's um read no place like home. Here we go. Authenticity. Coming home to yourself. Feeling at home. Arriving at a place where you just fit. Being comfortable in your own skin. Home feels safe and secure. It's a comfortable place to rest and create. A place that is known and you can call yours. This card signals that your ability to trust yourself and feel at home in your own skin is beginning to solidify as is beginning to solidify as you claim your dignity and integrity. Aspects of yourself no one can take away from you. You know who you are. You hold your head high, yet with neither pride nor humility. Instead, you stand as the observer, seeing through the eyes of your soul. This puts you in a position of power and strength. Authenticity is your home. You are safe here in, this, in the house of your spirit and spirit relationship message lovers friends and companion animals are at home in your life right now you are in sync and full of love and you can be sure you no know, and you can be secure in knowledge that it is reciprocated relationships elicit a sense of emotional safety comfort and the best aspects of familiarity give me a second i have to get my water can't take it Okay, let's get back into it. Relationships elicit a sense of emotional safety, comfort, and the best experts of familiar familiarity right now. 
Being home in this relationship, together you add to the love of the world. Prosperity message. When you act in the when you act in an authentic way, <laughs> you command the world to reflect back to you exactly what is in your highest good. Your business choices, the investments you make, and the and the creative projects you immerse yourself in are powerfully on point. Why? Because when you are fully yourself, radically accepting everything in your journey to date, both success and failures, you will see the, the, the divinity in all things. Abundance is a natural progression when you experience this kind of authenticity. So, that was your reading to us. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know down in the comments if it resonated, how it resonated. Leave a like, share us, all of that good stuff. I love you, I love you, I love you, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.